There are three kinds of people in the business world. Those that make things happen, those who watch things happen, and those that say or ask, what happened? There are also three kinds of people in the spiritual world. Those who are spiritually dead, those who are spiritually immature, and those who are spiritually discerning. Which one are you? What I really have been studying a lot lately, I've talked about it a lot before, but I think it's something that we all really struggle with, and that is our mind and the strong hold that things can have over and enveloping our mind. And God has so has told us so many times in His Word all kinds of verses on the mind and your thoughts. And did you know that there it is possible to think a new way over an old situation? If you are used to thinking a certain way, let's and you're filtering it through maybe skewed filters that have happened to you in life, rejection or addiction or lust or whatever it may be, you have a certain way of thinking about things. And so the outcome is always the same. So I wanted to look at today just one of the many verses on how do we have a better mind? How do we have a mind like Christ? So if you'll turn with me in uh, 1 Corinthians, we're going to be in chapter 2, and we're going to look at verses 9 and 10. And those verses say, However, as it is written, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those who love Him. But God has revealed it to us by His Spirit. So, what that is saying is, you know, you've heard the saying, oh man, that's going to blow your mind. Well, if you give your mind to God, He will blow it. There are things that we can never possibly imagine. Knowing, knowing, excuse me, but if we spend <coughs> un, 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 <coughs> Satan doesn't want me saying this. <coughs> <coughs> wow. This needs to be heard, obviously. When you spend uninterrupted time with God in His Word, put the distractions away. We have so many things that we're trying to multitask with. <clears throat> Set it aside, put it down, pick up your Bible, and spend uninterrupted time with God because through His Word is where He is going to release His Spirit to renew your mind. So if you struggle with thoughts, with the battlefield of the mind, there is an answer. And the answer is, sit down by yourself on a daily basis and ask God when you pick up His Word, ask Him to reveal to you what it means. Ask for discernment. Because as you spend time in God's Word, the power of God's Word will begin to renew your mind. It is possible to think a new way over an old situation. But you got to do it with Christ. Give your mind to God and He'll blow it. Thanks for struggling through this one with me. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to give me a, th a like, a thumbs up, comment, share. Be great. Be blessed.